ticket prices south africa it is your turn i've already done a video like this um for new zealand teams uh so far because we're still in as i record this december it's pretty much just memberships that the teams are selling individual tickets don't go on sale until closer to the time but i've had a look at the five new zealand teams to see how their memberships looked eight game memberships for the most part some of them seven because uh, the new zealand teams do move the games around a little bit <clears throat> usually one outside their main center uh for all the south african teams it seems like they're playing eight games at home uh, i've had a look at their prices um just to see how they compare for cheap seats expensive seats and what kind of bonuses or extras you get with those um yeah with that purchase price basically so i'm just going to work my way kind of from east to west so i'll start with the sharks that's why i got this jersey on plus i like the sharks jersey a lot they always make nice jerseys um yeah the sharks they sell a gold uh, membership that's their highest level that costs and i will put the prices um, with the help of jordan who's going to edit the video um i will put the prices in other currencies as well so you guys can have a look uh but yeah 2750 rand for for an eight game pass for your gold ticket so in terms of the stadium that gives you and it's going to be the same deal uh, as it was with the new zealand stadiums it's the it's the best seats in the house generally which are somewhere to the side hopefully toward the halfway line are generally the best seats um you know you, you pay more for them than you do pay for sitting at the ends um so that's your seats what else do you get with that purchase price we get a 40 percent discount at the canterbury store so those are the jersey manufacturers so that's a pretty it's almost a half price discount uh, it does make it 344 rand per game so yeah I, I suppose that's well that that is what it is um and apart from that discount there are a wide variety of other discounts sponsors offers vouchers a lot a lot more than any of the new zealand teams can dream of getting close to like there's hotel stuff like wildlife park all kinds of stuff associated with the sponsors if there's one thing i noticed from doing this video after i've done the new zealand ones is that the south africa teams all of them have a way way stronger connection with their sponsors in terms of giving members like just opportunities to to buy stuff cheap to, to get vouchers for stuff yeah a part of these tickets it's almost like buying a coupon book or something because you've got so many yeah offers on the table if you buy these tickets anyway back to these tickets uh that's the sharks expensive seats cheap seats are the bronze seats so different seating area 1800 rand for the for the eight games which makes it 225 rand per game uh you do get the opportunity to get all those same vouchers and whatnot as the gold members but some of them are just at a bit of a lesser value level so might be a slightly less percent discount or if there's some kind of store credit it's worth less than if you'd bought a more expensive ticket so uh yeah cheap seats expensive seats all available uh, available over there in durban um yeah plenty of options uh the next i'm going to go with the lions probably could have gone with the bulls here but um, i'm putting them one after the other the lions uh, i only found two membership options available for the lions that is gold and red gold being the the more expensive option so for eight games it is 2650 rand which brings you in about 331 rand per game but interestingly it comes with a 2019 jersey which if you know me and i like myself a jersey that's a pretty enticing offer because the jerseys themselves are not cheap when you buy them new uh it includes all games at ellis park uh which includes the curry cup and if what i'm reading is correct it also includes a south africa test so that's a pretty sweet little offer again variety of discounts offers sponsors vouchers credits all that kind of stuff along with that uh, if you get the red option you sit on the other side of the ground uh i forget which side was which it was east and west um but it's six uh, 1690 rand so 211 rand per game 
Uh, again, you get a variety of um, discounts. You still get the jersey. You pretty much get all the same the same extras that you would have got if you've got uh, the gold package. You just get a nicer seat if you get the gold side. So, yeah, just the two options for the Lions. No kind of four-tier level like some of the other teams have. For the Bulls, just across the way, the Bulls are a bit of an exception because they have an ultra high level that the other teams don't offer so the bulls expensive option is their platinum option now platinum will set you back four thousand rand for the season uh it's 500 rand per game over super rugby uh you get a cap which is not quite as nice as getting a jersey um but you do get uh for a test match at um at Loftus, you get a VIP suite to go to. So you, you don't get your guaranteed seat from, from the Super Rugby season, but you do get uh, a VIP suite for um, any test matches played at Loftus. You get Curry Cup the same. You can go to the same seats for the Curry Cup. Preferential parking sale. So I'm assuming you still have to purchase any parking, but you get preferred parking. And again, way big range of, uh, of discounts available. So 4,000 Rand puts them way in above the previous two. And to be fair, the next one. Uh, but they do have a gold option, which is 2,100 Rand, 262 per game. Uh, excludes the, the, the VIP test suite thing. But that brings it a bit more in line, actually a bit cheaper than some of the other teams for those um, you know, pretty high level tickets. Uh, their cheap option is actually called silver. You don't get any of the test match stuff, but you get a cap, you get the curry cup games, preferred parking, all that other jazz. So for the most part, it's the same, just without that kind of top level treatment that you get, uh, if you went platinum, 188 Rand per game. So it's, uh, it's good that they have a wide variety of options for the, the top dollar and, um, more reasonable, I guess. Interestingly, the Stormers, and they're the last one I'm going to go over, um, of the four South African teams. If I do the Jaguars, it'll be a separate video, perhaps, with the Sunwolves, maybe a, a summary of all the 15 teams, just to put it into comparison. But the Stormers, from what I could find on their website, and they're similar to the Highlanders in that they do it differently. They only have one option for, um, for their season tickets. It's just called Season Ticket. Uh, 2,700 Rand which brings you into about 337 Rand per game. Uh, the tickets include any quarter or semi-finals, which are at Newlands. You get a supporter's jacket, which um, I still prefer a jersey, but it's pretty nice to have a, a jacket. It's probably a bit better than a cap. Um, you get access to a football team and cricket team who play, I'm assuming, in Cape Town. Um, so you can go to any of their games if you're interested in those sports. And I mean, in terms of their seating plan, if you bought a Stormers ticket, you can pretty much sit anywhere you like by the looks of things. It's um, it's not kind of cordoned off into these are the top dollar, these are the medium level, these are your cheap seats. It's just apart from those absolute maximum tickets, you can pretty much sit wherever you want. So uh, I couldn't find, I mean, I'm sure it's in the terms of conditions, whether it's kind of let's like general admission that it's a big enough stadium that you can just kind of sit where you want or whether it's allocated seating after you purchase. I did not go through the purchase steps, so... Uh, if anybody has, you can let me know how that works. And again, a lot of um, uh, options available apart from the Stormers. So the other teams seem to have a lot more. The, the Stormers package is a lot more specific anyway about what you get. Um, not so much of that associated sponsor stuff from what I could see. Uh, but yeah. So where does that bring bring the teams in line? How, who's the most expensive? Well, in terms of expensive seats, the Bulls are by far and away the, the most expensive. But if you were to take out that platinum offer, which is the top of the top, and put in their gold offer as their top one, then they would be the cheapest of the three. So the Bulls, whilst they offer a very top level selection, if you were just to go for their gold seats, which is just the one level down, which are still pretty good seats by the look of the thing, um... Yeah, yeah, 2100 uh, a fair bit cheaper than everybody else. Um, Sharks in second, if we're assuming the Bulls are still at top with that platinum level, then the Stormers and the Lions. So the Lions, despite the fact that they finished top of the um, 
of the South African teams pretty consistently over recent years. Uh, still your best bet in terms of ticket prices. But for your cheap seats, uh, the Bulls are again the ones who take it out. So much like New Zealand, it was the Chiefs that were the most expensive expensive seats, but also the cheapest of the cheapest seats. So the Bulls, uh, with their 188 rand per game, brings them in at the cheapest. The only one to, to be below 200 rand per game for a, a season pass. Uh, then the Lions, then the Sharks, and then the Stormers, who kind of don't really count because they don't have a cheap option available. It's it's the season pass, all or nothing with the Stormers. So um, I guess that, again, fits with their seeding plan that they uh, they have set up. So you can sit seemingly kind of anywhere. But um, yeah, those are the South African teams. You guys over in South Africa will have to let me know how reasonable those prices are or if they're pretty exorbitant. Um yeah, the New Zealand prices, I mean, again, I still haven't decided whether to buy a Blues membership or not <laughs> for this season, uh, the season coming. Um, yeah, it's, eight games is a fair bit to commit to, but I might look at something like a four game package because, um, you know, kids and whatnot, but um, yeah, it's kind of excuses, isn't it? Um, you guys can let me know if you've uh, if you've signed up to any of these packages, what you think of, of what you get for that money. I mean, for the Blues memberships I've signed up for in the past, it's, it's all right. I mean, I've always bought the kind of cheapest tickets. So as apart from when it rains, it, it's been all right. It's kind of been a good thing about buying a four-game pass is that if it is raining, you can give that game a miss and, and pick another game when it's a bit sunnier. And plus, Super Rugby starts at the start of, or well, the end of summer. So the first few games are kind of not guaranteed, but more likely to be in good weather. So, um... Yeah, interesting comparison. I'll have a look at the Aussie teams uh, for the next one. And then, like I said, possibly maybe the Sunwolves and the Haguaras. The problem with them being is their sites are not in English. So um, maybe the Sunwolves one is, so maybe they have an English version. I will have to Google Translate my way through that. And um, perhaps look, uh, apart from, you know, this is the, the four South African teams compared to each other, the, um, the yeah the total 15 to see who's the most expensive team to watch per game if you're a member and maybe uh once we get into the season proper i can start having a look at kind of individual game tickets if um yeah if it's something i'm still kind of interested in following i was curious because i've never looked apart from blues membership to see what you get for other teams that's the first time i've had a look and um yeah it has been a an interesting little find but um yeah you guys let me know your thoughts on these deals which ones do you think are the most worthwhile? Like for me, Lions jersey stands out as a pretty, as a pretty nice little option. And the fact that you can get Curry Cup tickets uh, for a couple of the teams is also a bonus. Like in New Zealand, there I think there was the Hurricanes and the Crusaders offered options where you could buy the Motor Ten Cup season as well, but it sure wasn't for free. It was an additional, um, additional price that you had to put on top of it. So um, yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts. I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.